everyone! Our topic is about simplifying rational algebraic expression. In simplifying the rational algebraic expressions, first, recall the laws of exponents. Second, use applicable factoring technique to factor the numerator and denominator. And third, when the numerator and denominator are completely factored, cancel out the common factor. If n is a positive integer and a is any real number, then a to the n, wherein a is the base and n is the exponent. The exponent of a number says how many times to use the number to be multiplied. That is x raised to 5 is equal to x times x times x times x times x. Same as 3 to the 4th is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That is equal to 81. The product of powers. For any real number a and any positive integers m and n, a raised to m times a raised to n, that is equal to, copy the base and then add the exponent m plus n. Examples, simplify 2 raised to 2 times 2 raised to 3, that is equal to, copy the base 2 and then add the exponent 2 plus 3, that is 2 raised to 5. Meaning, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 32. Another one, x raised to 4 times x raised to 7 is equal to x raised to 4 plus 7, or that is equal to x raised to 11. The power of a product. For real numbers a and b and any positive integer m, a b to the power of m, distribute the power a to the m, b to the m. Examples, x y to the power of 3. Distribute the power 3, that is equal to x to the third, y to the third. Same as 3x to the power of 2, that is equal to 3 squared, x squared, or 9x squared. The power of a power. For any real number a and any positive integers m and n, a raised to m to the power of n, that is equal to a, then multiply the exponent m n. Examples, y raised to 2 to the power of 4, that is equal to y raised to 2 times 4. And that is y raised to 8. Same as 10 raised to 2 to the power of 3, that is equal to 10 raised to 2 times 3, which is 10 raised to 6, or 1 million. The quotient of powers. For integers m and n, where m is greater than n, and any non-zero number a, a raised to m over a raised to n, that is equal to common base a, and then subtract the exponent. Examples x raised to 7 over x squared, that is equal to the common base x, and then subtract 7 minus 2, that is x raised to 5. Same as c to the 5th d to the 6th over c to the 3rd d to the 4th is equal to c raised to 5 minus 3, and then d raised to 6 minus 4, that is equal to c raised to 2, d raised to 2. The power of a quotient. For real numbers a and b, wherein b is not 0, and any positive integer m, a over b to the power of m, distribute the exponent that is equal to a raised to m over b raised to m. Examples, x over y to the power of 5. Distribute the exponent that is x raised to 5 over y raised to 5. Same as 3 over 4 to the power of 3. That is equal to, distribute the exponent 3, that is 3 raised to 3 over 4 raised to 3. Or that is equal to 27 over 64. Any number whose exponent is 0 is 1. A raised to 0, that is equal to 1. Examples, 5 raised to 0, that is equal to 1. Same as, 3AB raised to 0, that is 1. Negative exponent, a raised to negative n. To simplify, use the positive exponent n and take its reciprocal. So that is 1 over a raised to n. Examples, 5 raised to negative 3. Use the positive exponent 3 and take its reciprocal. That is 1 over 5 raised to 3. Or 
that is 1 over 125. Same as AX raised to negative 4. Use the positive exponent 4 and take its reciprocal. So 1 over AX to the power of 4. That is equal to 1 over A raised to 4, X raised to 4. Use applicable factoring techniques to simplify the rational expressions and express to lowest terms. Simplify 18x squared y over 12xy. You can use applicable factoring techniques to factor the numerator and the denominator. Get the greatest common factor of 18 and 12, which is 6, times 3, times 2. 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 2 is 12. And the greatest common factor of x squared is x. x times x is x squared over x. And then the greatest common factor of y is y, so y over y. When the numerator and denominator are already completely factored, cancel out the common factors. Cancel 6, cancel x, and cancel y. And then copy the remaining term. 3x over 2. So that will be your answer. Another example. Simplify x squared plus 4x over x squared minus 2x minus 24. Again, applicable factoring technique can be used to factor the numerator and the denominator. Get the greatest common factor of the numerator x squared plus 4x which is x x quantity x plus 4 and then factor x squared minus 2x minus 24 and the factors are x minus 6 and then x plus 4. Again, you can cancel out the common factors. The common factor is x plus 4. You can cancel it and then copy the remaining term x over x minus 6 and that will be your answer. And the last example, w cubed plus r cubed over w squared minus r squared. The factoring technique for the numerator is the sum of two cubes, and the factoring technique in the denominator is the difference of two squares. The factors of the numerator are w plus r times w squared minus rw plus r squared. And the factors of the denominator are w plus r times w minus r. The numerator and denominator are already completely factored. Cancel out the common factors. W plus R is the common factor, and then you cancel it. So copy the remaining term, W squared minus RW plus R squared over W minus R. And that is your answer. Match each rational algebraic expression to its equivalent simplified expression. Good luck! That's all for now. Thank you for watching.